stand up here too. Okay, I want, we're going to take a few a few moments. Um, you know, we got away a couple of days ago with not letting anybody leave. Um, not so lucky with the with the whites. Um, but I will. Uh, so everybody here doesn't know where he's going. He's going over to be the to J4 um, over at USFK. That was kind of a by name. He's got a lot of a lot of experience in the Pacific AOR, so he's not going far. So we're going to see him. I know for. Um, exercises and, and everything else, but we just want to take an opportunity to thank um, Team White. Uh, they're great neighbors, and uh, they've been great teammates here. And over the fa past 15 months, I've done uh, a lot with, uh, worked a lot with, with Tim. A lot of it has been COVID, and I'll talk a little bit about what we've, we've done with, um, they've done, basically. So we've, we've done a lot of uh, sit uh, sitting and watching, um, getting reports, and it's been a lot of the 593rd and the 62nd Med Brigade um, specifically, but um, helping to set up the site up in, in Seattle and then been all over the country. Um, but Tim, I want to thank you for being um, an outstanding teammate. I talk a lot about that. Uh, makes a difference. I don't care what level you're at, um, but everybody has a reputation and you always uh, you know, when you hear the radio calls and you're listening, um, your reputation is uh, as being a great teammate. And everybody knows um, that you're going to be there for them and doing things um, to help them. And typically, <clears throat> I find out that we're going to have some kind of a problem with, uh, um, with logistics. Um, most of the time, it's there was a problem. And this is what the 593rd is doing. This is what... Um, General White has already directed. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that over the last year. And, and last summer was difficult. We still did exercise um, out in the Pacific, even through COVID. So if it's not hard enough doing things with the vast distances, um, throw in COVID and all those other kind of restrictions, um, and make it that'll make it ten times harder. And I've uh, you guys have never batted an eye. Um, I, I also greatly appreciate, and I know everybody up on the core staff um, greatly appreciates um, just that you are a quiet professional. You're an expert. Um, your, your team is out there doing great things, and you're never looking for a pat on the back um, for any accolades. Um, just get things done, um, and you're just a, a real joy to work with. So I know why they really wanted you. Um, over in Korea. That's basically a, a lot of the reasons when they called over and said that's why they wanted you to go over there. I know you got lots of help from a lot of four stars on your assignment. Um, but I just want to thank you for all that you've done here um, on JBLM to get our culture right and improving because um, that's a constant fight that we need to do um, here and then just to support our entire team. And to Jen, who's a nurse, and she's, she's sticking around here. So I know Madigan, so Scotty's a you know, man after my own heart, doesn't want to let anybody, doesn't want to let anybody go. So um, it's an example yesterday that I was talking about in our volunteer award ceremony where you have, um, we have a lot of, of spouses who um, are raising kids, two wonderful kids that are over there, expert dog walkers as well. Um, <laughs> But raising kids, which, is, which has been not been easy over the last uh, year. I don't know how you guys have done with the screen time, but that's hard for everybody. Um, but then also supporting your soldier, um, which is very important. None of us uh, could be, continue to do what we're doing without the support of our families. And then like I saw yesterday when you're recognizing the spouses um, or one particular spouse, but I know there's many others, what you're doing to contribute to overall to your families inside your organization. So we just want to thank you both. Um, we've got some hardware for you here. Um, give you an opportunity if you want to say a couple of words here before, but with that, we'll publish the orders. And I did want to, th there's a couple of folks here that I have um, with General Lanza, General Cardone, and General Hal Halstead. Where are you at, ma'am? Back, hiding out in the back. It's great to, you know, it's the other great thing about getting together is, is, is seeing old friends. So, okay, publish orders. Attention to orders. The Legion of Merit is being awarded to Brigadier General White for exceptional meritorious service as the Commanding General of the 593rd Expeditionary Sustainment Command, Joint Base Lewis McCord, Washington. From 13 June 2019 to 14 May 2021, 
Brigadier General's selfless dedication and devotion to mission success, leader development, and improving systems and practices across the 593rd ESC and Joint Base lewis McCord, increased readiness at every echelon. Brigadier General White's performance is in keeping with the finest military traditions in service and reflects great credit upon him, the United States Army Forces Command, and the United States Army. Signed, Michael X. Garrett, General, United States Army Commanding. The Meritorious Service Public Service Medal is being awarded to Mrs. Jennifer White for providing outstanding service to the soldiers and families of the 593rd Expeditionary Sustainment Command. Mrs. White's effort greatly contributed to the morale, welfare, and family readiness for the entire command. Her dedication and selfless service are in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflect distinct credit upon herself, the 593rd ESC, America's First Corps, and the United States Signed, Randy A. George, Lieutenant General, United States Army. Yeah, I'll just say a couple words. Just thank you, for everybody, for attending. Uh, I'll leave. I got a lot of thank yous in the remarks, although there, it is short, so I'll keep it short. But there's just too many people to thank, and uh, it's just been an incredible experience here at JBLM not only for myself, but for Jen, Tom, and Emily. Um, and uh, we just have a lot to be thankful for and really, really are honored by the opportunity uh, to command such a great unit uh, under the leadership of many uh, awesome Corps commanders as well. So it's really been an honor. It's, uh, it's kind of a, it's a tough day for us, but we'll, we'll work through it. And uh, it's uh, been such an honor to work with so many great people uh, of which uh, you all represent uh, for sure. Thank you. Okay, you got one minute to get in your seat, so I'm going to send the Sergeant Major around. All right, thanks. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's Change of Command and Assumption of Responsibility Ceremony. Today, Brigadier General Timothy P. White will officially relinquish command of the 593rd Expeditionary Sustainment Command to Colonel Martine S. Kidd, and Command Sergeant Major Scarborough will assume responsibility of the 593rd ESC. On the field before you are the units participating in today's ceremony, composed of the Brigade, Battalion, Headquarters and Headquarters Company Commanders, Unit Colors, and Soldiers assigned to the 593rd ESC. The 593rd ESC and Joint Base Lewis McCord would like to recognize our distinguished guests for today's ceremony. Please hold your applause until the end. Mr. Jim Baumgart from the Office of Washington State Governor Jay Inslee and his guest, Ms. Christine Reeves. Lieutenant General Stephen Lanza, United States Army retired. Lieutenant General Ed Cardone, United States Army retired and his wife, Linda. Senior Executive Service, Mr. Harvey Rishkakov, DOD retired, and his guest, Ms. Dina Temple Raston. Major General Stephen Smith, 7th Infantry Division Commanding General, and his wife, Lynn. Major General Darren Warner, Commanding General, United States Army Tank Automotive and Armaments Command. Major General Tom Cole, United States Army retired. And finally, a warm welcome to all general officers, command sergeants, major, family members, community members, soldiers, and civilians in attendance today. Please give a round of applause for all of our distinguished guests. The reviewing officer for today's ceremony is Lieutenant General Randy A. George, Commanding General for America's First Corps and Joint Base Lewis McCord. The host commander is Brigadier General Timothy P. White, Commanding General of the 593rd ESC. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Colonel Rosaldo Salvador, Chief of Staff for the 593rd ESC. Music today is provided by America's First Corps Band. The heartbeat of America's Corps. America's First Corps Band is conducted by Warren Officer 1, Brian Dorgan, and the drum major of Sergeant First Class, Kenneth Edra. The salute battery is from Bravo Battery, 1st Battalion, 37th Field Artillery Regiment, and is under the direction of 1st Lieutenant Andrew Schwab, and the NCO in charge is Sergeant First Class, Eduardo Chavez. 
the color guard from the 593rd ESC Brigade and Battalion. Under the direction of 593rd Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Carlos J. Moe. Please direct your attention to the VIP seating area. At this time, Sergeant First Class Sandra Cook of the 13th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion, 593rd ESC Audie Murphy Club, is presenting a bouquet of red roses in full bloom to Mrs. Jennifer White, and a bouquet of flowers to his daughter Emily and son Tom as a token of appreciation from the soldiers of the 593rd ESC for their support to the organization over the last two years. Staff Sergeant Erica Zachary of the 62nd Medical Brigade, 593rd ESC, Sergeant Artie Murphy Club, is presenting Dr. Kidd with a small gift meant to symbolize the multifunctional support he will provide to the soldiers and families throughout his tenure with the 593rd ESC. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand for the invocation given by the 593rd ESC Chaplain, Lieutenant Colonel John Grauer. I invite you to pray. Most gracious God, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given to us and for this occasion that brings us together, which always reminds us of the strength of our military and the freedom it defends. Thank you for Brigadier General Timothy White for his committed and faithful service. Thank you for the positive impact he has had on the soldiers and mission. We pray that God will continue to be with him and his family as they move on to their next assignment. Please return to them blessing as they have been a blessing to so many. We pray that you will be with Colonel Martine Kidd as she assumes command. Provide for her everything that she needs to serve with faithfulness, courage, and integrity as she continues the great work and mission to sustain our force. Watch over her and her loved ones. We pray for our current Command Sergeant Major who stood in the gap and maintained effective operations, and now we welcome Command Sergeant Major Terrence Scarborough. Empower him to be a strong and wise leader. As enlisted soldiers depend on him for leadership, and the officers count on him for guidance. And finally, Lord, we ask that you will be with us all this day, that this ceremony will not be just an event, but a benchmark of excellence for all of us to follow as we seek to be all that you have called us to be and all that our country needs us to be. This is our prayer. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. In just a moment, you will hear the adjutant direct the bugler to sound attention as today's ceremony begins. Throughout history, commanders have used music to raise morale and esprit de corps of the soldiers before battle with patriotic songs and stirring marches. Today, that is still symbolized in ceremonies such as this. As America's first core band prepares to play music in front of the soldiers of the 593rd ESC. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the heartbeat of America's first core, America's first core band, as they execute Sound Off. The playing of sound off originated during the Crusades. Troops offering themselves for battle were drawn up in a long formation, while the band counter marched before them to honor those soldiers chosen to serve. The baldric, the ceremonial belt worn over the shoulder of the drum major, is a band's set of colors on the gray field and displays America's first corps campaign credits. In the days before radio communication, the band played a major role in the field of combat and in the heat of battle when voice commands were difficult to hear. The mace carried by the drum major 
was used to relay commands to the band, who in turn relayed the commands musically to the soldiers. Constituted in October of 1943 in Sicily as a 9th Infantry Division band, America's First Corps Band has earned 12 campaign participation screamers from World War II and the Korean War. America's First Corps Band performs not only for military and social functions on joint base with support, but also provides musical support throughout the Pacific Northwest and around the world. Proud to serve as America's First Corps Musical Ambassadors, band soldiers stand ready to deploy, fight, and win. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and honors. Honors authorized for Lieutenant General George are being deferred to Brigadier General White. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The brigade, battalion, and company colors you see moving forward symbolize the very soul of the United States and the 593rd ESC. 
They are a visible record of the glories of the past. They stand as guardian over the present and serve to inspire in soldiers the loyalty, duty, and courage to achieve victory in the future. In the past, the colors served as a rallying point for soldiers during the smoke and fog of battle. Today, the colors are a symbol of the unit and accompany the commander wherever they may go. Sir, officers and colors are present. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Detachment! Order! Off! Sound! Order! Arms! Upper right! Run! The change of command and assumption of responsibility ceremonies are simple traditional events that are rich with symbolism and heritage. The key to this ceremony is the passing of the unit colors. These colors represent not only the heritage and history of the unit, but also the unity and loyalty of its soldiers. The colors are the commander's symbol of authority, representing his responsibilities to the organization. Wherever the commander is, there are also the colors. The custodian of the colors is the command sergeant major. As a senior enlisted soldier in the 593rd ESC, command sergeant major is both a spokesperson for loyalty and concerns of the soldiers and a principal advisor to the commander. By authority of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 2-5, Charlie, the undersigned assumes command of the 593rd ESC Joint Base Lewis McCord. Effective 14 May 2021. Signed, Martin S. Kidd, Colonel Logistics Commanding. By authority of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 2-19, Command Sergeant Major Terrence Scarborough assumes responsibility as a 593rd ESC Command Sergeant Major and custodian of the unit's colors. Effective 14 May 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding General of America's First Corps and Joint Base, Lewis McCord, Lieutenant General Randy George. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Beautiful day. All right, so I know we got a couple of extra speakers, so I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier in this week for 7th Infantry Division. So 593rd Formation, rest. Okay, great. 
All right, another, another beautiful day for a change of command and an assumption of responsibility. Also, we're welcoming Command Sergeant Major Scarborough. Just like we did earlier this week, we get to practice one of our greatest traditions in front of disciplined and professional formation on Watkins Field, and the mountain is out again. So we're testing our luck here, it seems like, this spring. Throughout my career, it's hard to put into words how much, a different, how much difference a good logistician, mechanic, or medical professional makes to a formation. It seems that all we do is bring problems to you guys. And typically, we're looking for immediate help. You can sympathize a little bit with that, I'm sure, Tim. Something is broken, someone is injured, or we're hungry and need supplies, and usually we need them ASAP. I've told a lot of folks here that my word for this year is gratitude. And throughout my career, I've never been more grateful than for that specially skilled expert logistician that has provided the formation what we need, often at our greatest moment of need. When I was a company XO, and I know that's been a couple of years ago, I was back in the combat trains and I was lamenting the fact that I was away from the action. And I remember my battalion commander coming to me and telling me not to judge contributions by proximity to the enemy. And he was right, and since then I've learned more and more that we won't win on any battlefield without our expert logisticians fueling, fixing, feeding, supporting, and caring for our entire formation. These experts on the field today, and it's just a few who represent, you can see all the guidons, the many of the 593rd Expeditionary Support Command have brilliantly and continue to brilliantly support the entire First Corps team. Not only do they accomplish one of the toughest jobs in the Army, they do it in the Pacific, where the tyranny of distance makes every logistical effort a challenge. I am grateful that we have the experts within the 593rd supporting our team. Their motto is rest assured. They are passionate about making sure our entire formation has what we need and when we need it to be successful. We do rest assured that the 593rd will get us what we need and when we need it. I also want to give a quick shout out to our team from the 62nd Med Brigade. Over the past 15 months, and we've seen them coming and go here um, quite often on JBLM, they've continually provided medical support across the country to help our nation throughout the COVID pandemic. They've been a great service to our civilian communities from North Dakota, Texas, Arizona, California, Wisconsin. I'm sure I missed a couple um, of them in there, but they've been, they've been great. And I'll remind everybody here, they're the same medics that have been running the, uh, our vaccination site over here at the ALCC and McCord. I think everybody saw the recent CDC guidance I encourage everyone to go over and get a shot. Yeah, we're very happy to hear that came out. Brigadier General Tim White has brilliantly led this formation every step of the way. So Tim, thanks to you and your entire team for your professionalism, your expertise, and your hard work to always keep your team ready and making sure that the rest of the Corps remained ready. Thanks for moving all of our equipment across the Pacific and providing our teams what they need. And like I said up front, often before we know we needed it. And I remember having some of those conversations. No, you're, you're going to need this. And we have trusted um, Tim's expertise. Um, you're great at anticipation, anticipating logistical requirements and problems that could arise without prudent sustainment planning has been a great service to all of us. You are an absolute professional and an absolute expert. I've also appreciated your passion for supporting your teammates. I often hear about the extra effort your team is making, and I hear that from, your, from other commanders, from fellow commanders. I appreciate your humble leadership, um, and again, like I said up front, never looking for a pat on the back. Your soldiers have been excellent over the past two years with you at the helm. Thank you and well done. I also wanna thank um, Jennifer, for her service to the JBLM community. 
Again, Tim, I know that uh, they're looking forward to getting you over in Korea. I'm sure the arrival date is slipping left and left and left. That's typically how it happens. Um, but we will definitely miss you and Jen right here, really close in the neighborhood. And I know, Jen, you'll be close by. Um, you're part of our family. And if you ever need anything, please reach out to us. I'd like to welcome Martine and your husband, Dr. Jason Kidd, and your three hounds um, that come to us here, coming from, uh, from Leavenworth. Um, we're fired up to have you as part of the leadership here in, in First Corps. It was great to see you take hold of the colors um, this morning. You have an amazing reputation across our Army, and we feel blessed that you're joining us here at JBLM. We're confident that you and Command Sergeant Major Scarborough will make a difference and continue to improve an already great formation. Sergeant Major Scarborough, oh, you're out, he's out here. Terrence, I can't, I can't uh, see your spouse, Keisha, and your children, but I know they're watching. Um, and I'm hoping we got to get a picture of that mountain out there for them. Um, they're watching on Facebook live from Virginia, but I hope that they can come out here and see us. The summers here in the Pacific Northwest are amazing. I wish everyone a great weekend. Thanks for coming out today to recognize these great leaders and honor our outstanding soldiers of the 593rd. Rest assured, courage. At this time, Specialist Xavier Cox from the Salute Battery will present the shell casing commemorating the last round fired during today's ceremony to Brigadier General White in honor of their soldiers and families of the 593rd ESC. Ladies and gentlemen, the former Commanding General of the 593rd ESC, Brigadier General Timothy White. Soldiers, NCOs, officers, and other distinguished guests, thank you for attending this morning's ceremony. A special thanks to Brigadier General Retired Halstead, Martine and I's Brigade Commander when we were Company Commanders at 10th DISCOM. Ma'am, it's great to see you again, and I know uh, Martine would echo this. Your um, lessons in steadfast leadership uh, have carried us through to this point and will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. After two years with the 593rd and five years with America's First Corps, there are many thank yous to give. JBLM in the Pacific Northwest has become such an important part of our lives in ways that we could not have imagined when we moved here from Korea back in 2016. First, I must thank God. I am thank thankful for his blessings every single day and for the opportunities that he has granted myself and our family. We truly, truly owe it all to him. Next, I would really like to thank my family, Jen, Emily, and Tom. Your support has been unwavering, and for that, I will be forever grateful. You mean more to me than words can ever say, and there's no way that I would be here today without you guys. And then to my mom and dad, who could not be here today but are watching virtually, uh, without the valuable, les valuable lessons they taught me, this day would have never happened. I love you all very, very much. While here at First Corps, America's Corps, I've served under three of the best commanders that our nation has to offer. Lieutenant General George, thank you for your trust. Lieutenant General Retired Valesky, thank you for your mentorship. Lieutenant General Lanza, thank you for being here today, first of all, and thank you very much for taking a chance on me by bringing me to First Corps. That decision has had such a pr profound impact on my life and our family's life, to which we will all be grateful. The investment that all three of you have made in me have made me a better leader and a better person, and I will always appreciate your leadership. Thank you very much. To the soldiers, NCOs, officers, and families of the 593rd Expeditionary Sustainment Command, I am so proud of all of you. Your contributions to our nation are often understated, but never, ever unappreciated. From the 112th MMT 
mail clerks that work in our post office, to our MAP doctors and nurses that work at Madigan Army Medical Center, and you have deployed all over the world wherever our nation has called you to go. You have professionally and humbly served our community every single day, and I appreciate all you do to make our unit, our core, our army, our nation, and our world a better place. I was proud to serve you, and I wish you continued success regardless, regardless of where your journeys take you. Thank you all very, very much. To Command Sergeant Major and Patricia Graham, our former CSM and his wife, as well as our battle buddies, your leadership blessed us all. You are simply the best. We have missed you both since the day that you left. Thank you for the early mornings, the late nights, in making 593rd the type of high-performing organization that we aspire to be. And finally, we would like to offer a warm welcome to Martin, Justin, and Command Sergeant Major Terry Scarborough. Thank you for your commitment to these rest assured soldiers and for everything that you will do to continue to improve the command. We wish you all our very best. Cherish every day, for the two years go by way too fast. Rest assured, courage. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 593rd ESC, Colonel Martin Kidd. For the vertically challenged. Good morning. What a uh, truly beautiful day and such a majestic setting with Mount Rainier right here in the background. You know, Justin and I are really thrilled re to return here, to be near my hometown and back in the Pacific Northwest, and even more grateful to be here in person with many of our family and friends. I want to especially thank and recognize my very best big sister and brother that anyone could ever have, Marlette and Kent, who are here today with their spouses and family. And although our parents are gone now, we both know, we all know that they're really here in spirit with us. We are indeed very excited to be back here and for the opportunity to lead another of our Army's premier sustainment organizations in the 593rd. I'm also thrilled to see all the local and regional community leaders and recognize their value to their partnership that they represent to JBLM and America's First Corps. Lieutenant General George and Patty, Major General Smith and Lynn, Command Sergeant Major Pospisil and Terry, General Cardone and Linda, General Lanza, Mr. Rishikoff uh, and Dina, Brigadier General Halstead, family and friends, we are extremely thrilled to be here with you today. And of course, there are many special people watching online right now that could not travel to be here and to whom I owe a great debt of gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, general officers, commanders, command sergeants, major, leaders, and most importantly to the soldiers, NCOs, and officers of the 593rd, Justin and I deeply appreciate you taking the time to be here on what is an important day of transition for the 593rd. Days like today are really not possible without the love and support we receive from our family and friends. And first, God has blessed me with the opportunity to continue to lead at this level in the Army. But I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't have my wonderful husband, Justin, by my side for what will be 22 years this coming summer. And as with every soldier, I'm grateful for the continued sacrifice and support that he has given me all these years. Today's gathering is recognition of the importance of this command and what it represents as one of the Army's combat-ready formations and of the contributions that Washington State represent to the national defense. Thank you for being here and for honoring all of these soldiers with your presence. To Brigadier General White and Jen, Justin and I can't thank you enough for your warm welcome and all you have done to set us up for success and prepare us for what lies ahead in leading the 593rd. You've done a truly remarkable job as the command team. And sir, 
your reputation as a leader is really impeccable. When we first served together 21 years ago at Fort Drum as company commanders, who could have ever imagined that we'd have the great fortune to pass the colors between us today? And I know that Brigadier General retired Halstead must be thinking the same thing as she served as our DISCOM commander in the mighty 10th Mountain. Brigadier General White, sir, you have really worked tirelessly to ensure the 593rd is ready to execute our wartime mission. And with the momentum that you have created, Justin and I know that we're ready to carry it on. I also know how much the 593rd means to you. And I promise we will care for the people, train to remain ready to accomplish all of the missions assigned. Godspeed to you as you head back to the peninsula and take on the important work of synchronizing sustainment in Korea and what you will continue to do across the Indo-Pacific. We look forward to hosting you in the future, so please don't be a stranger. Command Sergeant Major Scarborough, I am thrilled to have the chance to serve with you. You have an unmatched reputation as an NCO of impeccable character and competence. I look forward to all that we will do in guiding this magnificent team of teams. As the 593rd enters its ninth year as an Expeditionary Sustainment Command, one thing is certain. The 593rd stands ready to execute the missions assigned in support of multi-domain operations and as a critical element of unified land operations. Undoubtedly, the ESC will do what it is designed to do. We will deliver combat power, enable operational reach, and mitigate risk to maneuver commanders by ensuring the sustainability and survivability of every soldier who relies on our dedication and attention to detail. In short, the 593rd will ensure that those that we support can indeed rest assured because of the courage competence and commitment of the soldiers who will deliver on time every time. More importantly, we remain mindful that our Army's People First strategy describes the importance of managing the incredible talent in our ranks and how important it is that we care for both the soldiers and their families. Again, thank you for being here today. Justin and I look forward to working with each of you in support of America's First Corps and to all that we will accomplish together. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Command Sergeant Major of the 593rd ESC, Command Sergeant Major Terrence Scarborough. Uh, distinguished guests, uh, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning once again. It's great to see everyone here uh, to partake in this special occasion. Um, but up front, I want to give thanks uh, to the Most High for giving me the strength to keep going. So, Chaplain, Thank you for that wonderful, wonderful invocation. This is an extremely special moment um, for me and my family. Uh, even though they could not be here with us today to mark this special occasion, uh, they are watching virtually. As always, I would like to thank my wife and children for their unwavering support. Uh, none of this would be possible uh, without you, and for that, I love you. To the JBLM team and America's Sports Corps, I am at the onset of my term as the 11th uh, 593rd ESE Command Sergeant Major. Uh, in the face of my upcoming duty, I feel humbled. But at the same time, I also feel very honored. I am grateful to the entire JBLM team for giving me this opportunity to work for the better of the Army and to help lead the fine, this finest expeditionary organization for the upcoming future. In my work, I remember my predecessors, Command Sergeant Major Frank Graham, Command Sergeant Major Retired Pamela Williams, Command Sergeant Major Roy Rocco, and the many others and the examples they have given. They have all become role models whose work as I, is a joy and honor to continue. At the same time, their achievement has posed high expectations and goals for my own term now as I carry the baton. Colonel Kidd, I hope for your support and confidence in my upcoming responsibilities. Doing this job together, we will achieve the best results in advancing the 593rd ESC's goals and building strong teams that will provide expeditionary sustainment support across the indo pacom AOR. I will strive in every way to be worthy of your confidence and to fulfill my duties the best I can. Brigadier General White, good luck on your future endeavors as well. 
Finally, I would like to extend a special gratitude to the soldiers standing before us. You all look great, and thanks in advance for your support. Find any third, let's go. Let's get squared away. Rest assured, courage, rest assured, seven signing on the net. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of the First Corps March and Army songs. The words can be found in your program. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Thank you for attending. Please join us in welcoming Colonel Kidd, Command Sergeant Major Scarborough, and their families at the reception located at Samuel Adams Brewhouse on JBLM. Brigadier General and Mrs. White remain behind the reviewing area to say a final farewell to the soldiers, families, and friends of the Joint Base Lewis McCord community. Rest assured.